Okay, let's talk about some of the terms that we typically use in uh, architectural acoustics. The first one that you're going to see is the NRC. That's the noise reduction coefficient. Essentially, what it represents is the percentage of sound that's absorbed by any material. In our cases, it's usually ceilings, and uh, typically the numbers you'd see are about 0 0.50, which means half the sound absorbed by something, and that's just a fair performance. Going all the way up to 1.0, which would be very high performance, meaning it's absorbing all of the sound. The CAC is a measure of the transmission loss through a ceiling, so it's the ceiling attenuation class. And that one is in decibels, and the good numbers for that would be typically 35. Um, bad numbers would be like fiberglass, which by itself would be maybe 15, and very high performance materials would be around a 40. Um, SDC is like the CAC, except the sound transmission class is for a wall. So it's a measure of the attenuation of blocking capability of the wall, whereas the CAC is a measure of the blocking capability of the ceiling. Again, numbers that you'd expect to see common wall constructions, uh, half-inch drywall each side, uh, 3 to 5 8 inch metal, metal stud, about 35 to 38 dB. Uh, very high performance, double wall kinds of construction, we're talking about 60 dB, which means we probably need to talk about a dB. Uh, that's the decibel. And the decibel is a measure of sound, and uh, for our hearing, uh, we happen to hear in a, in a logarithmic way, and the decibel represents that. Zero dB is the least amount that we can hear. I'm talking right now about 60 dB. If you're standing on the tarmac next to a jet plane taking off, it's probably about 140 dB. That's the range that we can expect. So everything in acoustics is usually referred to in decibel levels of dB. The signal-to-noise ratio is an interesting concept because that's telling us about the voice level versus the background noise, and it describes for us do we have speech intelligibility or speech privacy. If the signal-to-noise ratio is negative, then the speech signal is lower than the noise, and you don't hear uh, speech so that you have uh, privacy. If the signal-to-noise ratio is a positive number, and again, these are dB numbers, by the way. So if I was talking at 60 dB, my signal would be 60, the noise might be 40 dB background noise, so my voice would be 20 dB higher, you would understand me. Uh, the ABCs of design, it's kind of what we talked about here, the A is absorb, and that's represented by the NRC, for sound absorption in the space. The B's are for blocking, and these are these two, the ceiling attenuation and the wall attenuation. And the C is for covering sound for speech privacy, which actually is the N that's used in the ceiling noise ratio.